Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Munich. Welcome also to all viewers and followers across Europe, and welcome to the draw for the FIBA Europe Cup season 2023-2024. My name is Libo Mandic, Head of Competitions for FIBA Europe, and I will guide you through the draws today for the qualifiers and the regular season of the FIBA Europe Cup. But before we start, I would like to invite on stage for a few welcome words, the FIBA Executive Director Europe, Mr. Kamil Novak. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, club representatives. Uh, we have also the pleasure to have here few of the clubs who won the title in the previous years with Nesiona Bakcheshe here and the last year winner, Anvil uh, Vlotslavek. And I'm also very happy to welcome here with us the president of FIBA Europe, Mr. Jorge Garbajosa. Now, the season 23-24, uh, there are some changes for us, significant changes in terms of uh, number of clubs playing the competition. You hopefully know and realize that we made an exception for the upcoming season to play with 40 clubs the regular season instead of 32. Why? How it comes? Uh, on one hand, we should be happy. Uh, I think it underlines the increase of the quality and also that the clubs appreciate the competition. The, I don't need to uh, even say a word about the level of the competition and uh, I think it's worth to see maybe some images of the last year's finals between Anvil and Cholet, which uh, was only the, let's say, the creme de la creme of the last, uh, last season, but very excited finals. And this is also what we would expect logically for the upcoming season, that there will be not only great uh, regular season and playoffs, but then also the, the finals. So with that being said, um, it is obviously for us uh, on one hand privilege that we have so many clubs that registered not only to FIBA Europe Cup, but also those playing the qualifiers in Basketball Champions League and opted in, in case they will not qualify. So this was actually the reason why we exceptionally agreed on uh, increase of the, of the numbers of uh, teams for the regular season. I will not hold you any longer. There will be certainly an explanation of the, of the draw by Mr. Mandic. Uh, I just want to wish you the best of luck. I wish you also good luck for the draw. Uh, whatever criteria and expectations you might have, uh, I'm sure you will, it will not be fulfilled by 100%, but also uh, I'm very sure that uh, you will have a very exciting, exciting group and, of course, the, the qualifiers. So thank you very much, good luck, and I'm passing back to the head of competitions, Mr. Mandic. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Novak. Okay, we will start by uh, performing the draw for the qualifiers. Uh, a few words about uh, the qualifiers. We have 22 clubs playing in the qualifiers in tournament style. That means uh, one tournament with four clubs and six tournaments with three clubs, and the winner of each qualifies to the FIBA Europe Cup regular season. We have done a candidature procedure and have um, awarded yesterday the hosts of the seven tournaments. These are um, Keravnos that um, will host in Nicosia, Cyprus, uh, BC Pernu Saddam from Estonia will host in Pernu, Kataya Basket from Finland will host in Jönsu, Igis Kermend in Kermend, Hungary, BC Robotnički Skopje will host a tournament in North Macedonia, Jemtland Basket in Östersund, Sweden will host, and Manisa in Turkey. Before we start with the draw, obviously we need uh, help here, so I would like kindly on stage uh, from the competitions department, Mr. Gintaras Leonavicius. And it is uh, my privilege to also welcome a special guest to help us with the draws today. Please welcome former Latvian international, Mr. Kristaps Janicenox. As you can see, 
in the qualifiers, they have, the teams have been split across four seats, three seats with uh, seven teams each and one in seat four. And uh, these will be drawn across the seven groups. Uh, there is obviously a restriction. Uh, the draw software will help us uh, to separate the seven tournament hosts across the seven groups. So the draw software will make sure that each uh, group has one host and if necessary, a team if drawn will be moved to the next available group. And uh, last restriction, the tournament with four teams is predetermined to be tournament A. Okay? With that said, we're ready to go with uh, teams from seed one. Donar Groningen from the Netherlands into A. FC Porto from Portugal into tournament B. We see Pernu Sadam from Estonia into C. Kataya Basket will host Tournament D. Keravnos will host Tournament E. Aegis Kermant will host the Tournament F. And Casa de Zaragoza from Spain we we'll play in tournament G. So before we move to seed two, where we have uh, teams BC Trepcha from Kosovo, Jemtland from Sweden, Neher Slia from Israel, Rapid Bukurest from Romania, Manisa, Turkey, Rostock from Germany, and Cernan Moritz Burgas from Bulgaria. Quick reminder that we will separate the hosts where necessary. And in seed two, we have uh, two hosts with Jemtland and Manisa. They will have to be drawn into a, B, or G, as the other four groups already have a tournament host. Let's start with the first team. Rapid Bukurest in tournament A. BC Trepcha, because we need host for uh, Tournament B, they will be assigned to Tournament C as the next available group. BC Cerno Moritz Burgas, and for the same reason as Tournament B still needs a host, they will go to Tournament D, hosted by Kataya Basket. Manisa, and they will host Tournament B. The Rostock Seawolves will participate in Tournament E, hosted by Keravnos. Bnei Herzliya will play in Kermant in Tournament F. And Jemtland Basket will play host to Tournament G. 
Let's take a quick look at the groups so far. A with Groningen and Rapid Bucharest, B with Porto and Manisa, C with Pernu and Trepča, D with Kataya Basket and Chernomorets, E with Keravnos and Rostock, F Kermend and Herzlia, and G Zaragoza and Jemtland. Moving to seed three, um, we have one tournament host that is uh, left to be assigned, which is BC Rabotnički Skopje, and uh, only tournament A still missing a host, so um, it is predetermined that BC Rabotnički Skopje will go to tournament A. Any other team drawn before will automatically be moved to the next available group. Ready to go with teams in seed three. Nevejis from Lithuania into Group B. Tindastol from Iceland into C. BC Rabotnički Skopje will host Tournament A, as mentioned earlier. Poras Basket into Group D. Phoenix from Skopje, North Macedonia, into E. Anorthosis Famagusta from Cyprus, into F. and uh, BK Pardubice from Czech Republic into G. Last but not least, we have one team in seed four that will go into tournament A as discussed earlier. Sabah BC from Azerbaijan into tournament A. They will automatically be assigned number four for the order of the games, and we will now draw the numbers one, two, and three for the remaining teams. We'll start with number one. followed by number three. And number two. This concludes the draw for the FIBA Europe Cup qualifiers. I will quickly summarize again the uh, seven tournaments. In A, uh, hosted by Rabotnički in Skopje, with Donar Groningen, BC Rabotnički, Rapid Bukurešt and Sabah from Azerbaijan. Group B, in Manisa, Turkey, with FC Porto, Nevejis from Lithuania and Manisa from Turkey. Group C, in Pernu in Estonia, with Tindastol and BC Trepča. D, in uh, Finland, hosted by Kataya, with Boras Basket and BC Chernomorets. E, in Nicosia, Cyprus, with Keravnos, Phoenix from North Macedonia, and Rostock from Germany. F in Kermend, hosted by Egis Kermend, with Anorthosis from Gusta and Neherzlia. And G, hosted by Jemtland Basket in Sweden, with Casa de Zaragoza and BK Pardubice. We will now uh, take a few minutes to prepare 
the draw for the regular season. Please remain in your seats until we do so. But in the meantime, we will show you some highlights from the season 2022-2023 of the FIBA Europe Cup. Enjoy. Now the ball turned over, here comes Moore, hands it off to Sanders, goes behind the back, lays it up and in. A little bit of razzle-dazzle from Victor Sanders. Hey, this this Anvil Slavic team has wanted it more in this second half. To Okay, we're looking forward for many more highlights to come from the upcoming season. Uh, until we are ready, um, a few words about uh, the FIBA Europe Cup season 2023-2024. A th total of uh, 35 clubs have uh, registered for the FIBA Europe Cup 23-24. Additionally, 21 clubs from the Basketball Champions League qualification rounds have opted in to participate. And uh, in case they do not reach the BCL regular season, out of those 21, 20 will join the FIBA Europe Cup regular season. A maximum 20 will join the FEC regular season. And those clubs will qualify directly to the regular season of the FIBA Europe Cup. All of the clubs that are participating in the BCL qualification rounds are entered in the draw today provisionally, meaning that uh, their place is determined in case they join the FEC, in case they do not join the FEC because they qualify to the BCL regular season, they would then be replaced by a lucky loser from the FIBA Europe Cup qualification tournaments that we have just drawn. So it would be the best runner-up of uh, those tournaments. Then we have um, 13 clubs that gained direct access to the FIBA Europe Cup regular season and seven spots determined by the qualifiers tournaments that we have just seen, making it a total of 40 clubs in the regular season. As Mr. Novak mentioned before, exceptionally, we play the regular season with 40 clubs and 10 groups of four, starting on October 18th. We just maybe need a few more moments uh, for the software to be ready.
As you will see in a few moments, uh, the um, clubs for the regular season draw have been split into four seats of uh, 10 clubs each. Yes, and I think we should be ready now. Yes, perfect. Can we get them also here on the big screen? Yes, so the 40 clubs have been split into four seats of 10 clubs each. Uh, you see there uh, the clubs that have gained direct access to the FIBA Europe Cup. You have also the clubs that are uh, playing in the Basketball Champions League qualification rounds. And um, with the specialty that the clubs playing in the BCL Champions path are uh, listed as uh, losers of the respective round. And then in seat four, we have the seven qualification tournaments that we have just drawn a few moments ago. I think we're ready to start with the regular season draw. I will start by um, saying that in seed one, we have um, three uh, champions of the FIBA Europe Cup in the past years. Anvil Wroclawek from Poland, the defending champion. Ironi Neziona and Bakhce Shehir from the previous years. Then we have Oradea from Romania, Chole Basket, last year's finalist. ZZ Leiden from the Netherlands, Sporting from Portugal, Heroes Den Bosch from the Netherlands, the loser of the BCL qualifiers, final of the champions path, and Karhu Basket from Finland. Uh, the last thing I want to mention, a restriction. The only restriction for the draw of the regular season is that there can be maximum of two clubs from the same country in the same group. So we will avoid having three clubs from the same country by using the draw software. Let's start with the first team from seed one. Sporting from Portugal into group A. Defending champion Anvil Vlotslavek into Group B. Karhu Basket from Finland into Group C. Bahce Shehir from Turkey into Group D. The loser of the BCL qualifiers final of the champion's path into Group E. Ironines Ziona into Group F. ZZ Leiden into Group G. Heroes Den Bosch from the Netherlands into Group H. Chole Basket into Group I. and Oradea from Romania into Group J. Moving on to C2, in C2 we have again 10 clubs. BC Balkan from Bulgaria, Legia Warszawa from Poland, the Niners Chemnitz from Germany, Sibiu from Romania, Brindisi from Italy, Mornar Bar from Montenegro, Apoel Galile Leon from Israel, Göttingen from Germany, and then the losers of the semifinals of the BCL qualifiers champions path, uh, one semifinal between Bak and Peja, uh, Kalev and Norshopping, and uh, the other one with Levice, Larnaca, Benfica, and Tbilisi. 
We're good to go with the first team. PC Balkan Botevgrad from Bulgaria into Group A. Sibiu from Romania into Group B. The loser of the BCL qualifier semi-final, Levice Larnaca and Benfica Tbilisi into C. Mornar Bar from Montenegro into Group D. The loser of the BCL qualifier semi-final, Buck and Peja, Kalev Nershopping, will form the second team in Group E. Brindisi from Italy will join Nesiona in Group F. Apoel Galil Elion from Israel into Group G. Niners Chemnitz into Group H. Biggie Göttingen into Group I. And finally, Legia Warszawa from Poland into Group J. Okay, let's take a quick look at the group so far. Group A with Sporting and BC Balkan, B with Anvil and Sibiu, C with Karhu and the loser of the semi-final, Levice Larnaca and Benfica Tbilisi. Group D, Bahce Shehir and Mornar Bar. Group E, loser of the final of the champion's path, and the loser of the semi-final of the champion's path, Buck and Peja, Kalev and Nershopping. Group F with Ironi Nesiona and Brindisi. Group G with Leiden and Hapoel Galil Elion. Group H, Heroes Den Bosch and Einars Chemnitz. Group I with Cholet and Göttingen. And Group J with Radia and Legia. We will move to seed three, where we have the following 10 clubs. Jonava from Lithuania, Strasbourg from France, Nimburg from Czech Republic, Bilbao from Spain, Gravelin from France, Alba Fehervar from Hungary, Varese from Italy, Stargard from Poland, and then another losers of the BCL champions path, this time the quarterfinals between Levice Larnaca and Kalev Norshopping. And um, the draw software will already assign that they will not be in group E. Let's start. Alba Fehervar from Hungary into Group A. Surne Bilbao Basket into Group B. Jonava from Lithuania 
will join group C. Nimburg from the Czech Republic into group D. Six Strasbourg from France in E. The loser of the quarterfinal, Kalev Nordschopping, into F. PCM Gravelin Dunkerque from France into group G. Spoenia Stargard from Poland will join group H. Palcanestro Varese from Italy into group I. And the loser of the PCL quarterfinal between Levice and Larnaca into group J. Moving to teams in seed four, we have here the seven winners of the qualifiers tournaments that we have drawn a few minutes ago. These are the first seven teams. On paper, they will appear as A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. We have also the Caledonia Gladiators from Great Britain, as well as uh, two more teams coming from the champion's path of the BCL qualifiers, the losers of the quarterfinals, Bakken, Bears from Denmark, and Peya from Kosovo, as well as Benfica from Portugal and Tbilisi from Georgia. The draw software will highlight in uh, some cases where the teams cannot go to the next available group. So we're good to go with the first team. The winner of tournament F, that is uh, the tournament hosted by Korment, with Famagusta and Herzliya into Group A. The Caledonia Gladiators in Group B. The winner of Tournament E, hosted by Karavnos with uh, Phoenix and Rostock, into Group C. Winner of Tournament A, hosted by Rabotnicki, into Group D. The winner of Tournament G features Zaragoza, Pardubice, and Jantland. And because we have already two Swedish teams potentially in Group E, they will automatically be moved to Tournament F, uh, to Group F. The winner of Tournament C with Pernu, Tindasol, and Trepcha into Group G for the same reason as mentioned before. In this time, the country restriction was with Estonia.
the loser of the BCL quarterfinal with Bakken and Pea into tournament H, into group H. We need the last team for, for group E. And that is the winner of tournament B, Porto, Nevejis, and Manisa. And finally, they go into group E. The loser of the BCL quarterfinal, Benfica and Tbilisi, into group I. And that leaves us with the winner of tournament D. That is hosted by Kataya with Boras and Cerno Moritz into group J. This concludes the groups. We will now draw the numbers one to four to determine the order of the games. We'll start with number two. Number one. Followed by number three. And number four, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the draw for the FIBA Europe Cup regular season. Let me summarize the groups once again. In group A, BC Balkan, Sporting, Alba Fehervar, and the winner of the tournament, Kermant from Augusta Herzliya. Group B with Sibiu, Anvil Vlotslavic, Bilbao, and the Caledonia Gladiators. Group D, with the loser of the semi-final, Levi Celarnaka, Benfica, Tbilisi, with Karhu, Yonava, and the winner of the tournament, with Keravnos, Phoenix and, Phoenix and Rostock. Group D, Mornarbar, Bashti Shehir, Nimburg, and the winner of the tournament with uh, Donar, Rabotnicki, Rapid, and Sabah. Group E has the loser of the semifinals of the BCL Champions Path, Pak and Peja, Kalev, Norshoping, as well as the loser of the final of the Champions Path, then Strasbourg, and the winner of the tournament with uh, Porto Nevejis and Manisa. Group F with Brindisi, Nesiona, the loser of Kalev, Norshoping, and the winner of Zaragoza, Pardubice, and Jamtland. Group G, Hapoel, Galil, Elion, Leiden, Kravlin, and the winner of the tournament in Pernu with Tinder, Stoll, and Trepcha. Group H, Chemnitz, Den Bosch, Stargard, and the loser of Pak and Pea. Group I, Göttingen, Scholle, Varese, and the loser of Benfica, Tbilisi. And finally, Group J with Legia, Vashava, Oradea, the loser of Levice and Larnaca, and the winner of the tournament with Kataya, Boras, and Czernomorec. Thank you very much for your attention. I want to conclude by wishing all the participating clubs the best of luck in the qualifiers and in the regular season. Thank you to Kristaps and Ginteras for their help today. And um, thank you again. Have a nice afternoon.